I'm running our Sunnyvale Griffin comp with Dragon as Linux, Uche as Val, Squeaker as Griffin, and I'm playing Sunny. We're fighting a Kraken who looked like he knew what he was doing off the start other than his feed path. Looks like he took a, a win stage one build with lightning strike. We got him in an early stage one dome but didn't do any real health damage to him. But we were able to chase him effectively and he's not going to get much armor at all. Dragon's going to flush him out of this north zone into the cut on the right and we're going to end up basically destroying this Kraken in a chase, which you're going to see soon. But it's going to take a little while for this to develop. Right here, we're communicating about where people need to be. We're telling Squeaker to watch the cut on the right. Dragon's called out that the monster's already headed that way. Val's position to trank the monster as the monster comes into it. Because the monster's running away from Dragon at this point, because Dragon won't leave the Kraken alone. Squeaker goes in for the dome here, and I move in. I notice the movement speed buff right away, and I fire a quick shot at it to grab that before dropping a drone. And then just kind of positioning myself as an obvious target since the drone's going to charge in a few seconds. Dragon's moving into position now. We're getting some early health damage into the monster now. So, like, this is what's scary about this comp at this point. Like, this monster got out of the first dome completely fine, but was unable to escape this comp to armor up. And now the second dome is not going to go well for him. And at this point, because the monster's moved down in this other area of the map, I recognize that my drone's not going to be helpful for anybody, so I place a new one down and then come down here to start shooting with Dragon. We don't usually clump like this, and because of it, I accidentally shoot Dragon in the back with a nuke launcher shot once or twice. With no effect. But this Kraken is not having a great dome. And right here, because the dome was coming down, I told Duce to trank the monster and for Squeaker to start harpooning it. And this monster is not going to come out of this very well. The Squeaker is getting effective harpoons under the monster. He's not harp knocking them off very quickly. And Dragon is still shooting him the entire way through. Dragon uses the Thunder Strike to keep forward on the monster, and so I boost Val forward twice, and then Griffin forward once. The monster goes around the corner trying to break line of sight with us. He's still getting harpooned in the process. He's still eating AA gun shots. Still taking tranks. We boost Griffin further after it and get another harpoon. Monster's finally going to turn around and try and fight properly, so Griffin's in trouble, and we boost Griffin back away from danger for a second. But at this point, the monster is super frustrated because he ate two bars on the chase, and he just stops moving and gives up. And that is why this comp is super devastating at this point. Because that monster did just fine in the first dome that we got on it. But because the chase potential of this comp is so high, the monster could not escape us and essentially died because of the second dome. And because he went into a corner of the map, he had to leave that corner. And that corner doesn't have a lot of interrupting cover to stop Griffin and Val from tranking and harpooning you. So, the monster was pretty screwed at that point. And that was really cool because that was Squeaker's first successful harpoon chase. And that was probably Duchase for a successful Trank chase with the Harpoons. And so, like, it doesn't require you to have level 40 experience to pull that off. It's really, really straightforward. You keep Harpooning, and you keep Tranking the monster, and then you achieve great success. Thanks for watching.